from the different countries and the different nations that they came from. From Team PNG, much love!
Bulovilaka. I'm Rock. And I'm Kev. And we're Rock and Kev. And this is PGM 101. So the first thing we're going to talk about is Fiji time. Isn't that right, Rock? Rock. Huh? Fiji time. Yes. The first thing we're going to talk about is Fiji time. Ain't that right, Kev? Yeah. <laughs> so if you make a plan with someone at 8 o'clock, make sure you don't leave the house until 8 o'clock. If you have an alarm clock, set up for 9 o'clock if you're going to meet up at 8 o'clock. Fiji time. Man. I'm sorry, brother. I'm sorry. Come on. My mom told me to go get some bread, man. From oh. Nangi. You know how far it is? Don't, let's go. Sorry, 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 sorry. And if somebody makes plans with you to meet up at the bus stand at 11, make sure you get there at 12. Why do you keep doing that? What? <laughs> He's been doing that all day. Like... I don't know. I wanted to throw that in. When you're in Fiji, you notice when people are talking, they roll their R. Why are you talking like that? Like what? <laughs> 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 One thing you notice when you're in Fiji, people roll their R's. All right, you gotta roll your R's with everything you say. Some examples are Yandra. Yandra. Bread. Bread. Brass. Brass. Roller coaster. Roller coaster. Sister. Sister. Lotoka. Lotoka. Suva. Suva. <laughs> Back in the times before cell phones and Facebook, Fijians used to use a complicated way of communicating to each other from across the street. The good old classic screaming at the top of your lungs. Hey! 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 When you walk into a Fijian house and you see furniture, don't assume that you can go and just sit on it. Mm. Sit, 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 sit. It's all there for decoration. How's it done? Sit on the floor. Respect. Ah, oh, sit, sit. Mm. You. So how long do we have to talk like this? I don't know. <laughs> Pack yourself a solo and some thongs. But when you have toes like calves, oh, come on. Just wave. Maybe bring shoes, enclosed shoes, socks, everything just to cover here those. We here we go. Toes of his. Like... <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's all right. If Cav gets lost, just look for the footprints in the ground. <laughs> <laughs> He's stupid. We have the Queen and the Crazy Island Mamas, and we're going to smash some records. MMT! Hey, what's that? Huh? What's that? Nothing. Oh. Never look. It's nothing, man. Bro, let's have a look. It's just a Fiji spinner. Ah, can I have a turn? Can I have a turn? Yeah, turn around. Oh, my. Fiji. to run forever hold tight so i grew up in california just growing up there all throughout my adolescent years so it was when i moved back that i realized it was quite different from california just being able to cook out of the microwave for me it was the easiest thing to throw a pizza into the microwave push 30 seconds in, and you had pizza whereas here you would have to go out and literally find the food and i'm not saying that, that the village is not entirely out of technology but just the the convenience of everything although the transition from the fijian lifestyle wasn't that different only because my my mother had really rooted that in me and that was something that i'm very grateful for
one thing that I do love about the village is that you can go run around anywhere. You can climb a tree, you can go to the river, you can go to the ocean. And that's something that I think a lot of us who have technology at the tip of our fingertips are missing out on because we would rather double tap on an Instagram picture of a beach rather than go to an actual beach. But just being able to find the simplicity of life and, and knowing that you can find happiness in that and knowing that that's okay. I have so many cousins. <laughs> I have so many cousins who are like brothers and sisters to me. And the dynamic is, is very much the island lifestyle. And so you have the brothers who are overprotective, and then you have the sisters who will take whatever they want. And so it's good to come back from pageants and being able to share everything that you, uh, that you receive from the pageant life. For me personally, this village represents family and it represents a lot of my culture. One of the biggest things is being able to come back, especially after every pageant, and being told to go wash the dishes or go and clean up because it's, it brings me back home and it, and it humbles me to a point where I know that it's just a crown. And so I, I really love being around my uncles, around uh, my grandmother. I was recently admitted as a, as a solicitor and a barrister here in Fiji's high courts, and so criminal justice and criminal law is something that I find very interesting, um, especially in Fiji and if not the region entirely. I remember walking into a courtroom for an observation and I saw this little girl. She had to testify against the accused person. And I can't imagine being that little girl. It's something disheartening and it's something that I would really like to, to see change. So that's one of the biggest reasons I'm hoping to get in, put my feet in the door when it comes to prosecution here in Fiji. Going through the pageants, these past six months have been sort of bittersweet at every juncture because I lost my father in May. He was there during every, um, every crowning. One of the biggest privileges of these pageants is being able to, to spread his last name all across the stage and, and calling it a done deal at every juncture. Hopefully made him a very proud father, um, wherever he might be looking down from. I'm just very grateful for the time that I did have. Record he's breaking this week. Malo and a big howdy to you all. Welcome to Freshness World Records. I'm your boy Noah Fire. Phoenix, <laughs> look at me, mate. I'm itching, mate, and I'm mm. excited. How me about too. yourself? I'm excited, yeah, ready for this one. Dodging jandals, mate. How did you come up with this record? Well, you know, always growing up watching uh, Jet Li, uh, Jackie Chan, Bruce Lee. Oh, yes. You yeah. know, always inspired by kung fu movies. Mm. So, what kind of training goes into preparing yourself to get to this point? Well, I've been doing a lot of uh, gym training and also a lot of yoga. OK, well, hey, that's enough talking. You look like you're ready to rock and roll. Ladies and gentlemen, Phoenix Pulianga will be dodging jandals. Here we go. Woo! Yep, OK, we'll go again. Whew. Let's do it. Hey, Phoenix, mate. Hey, I'm really sorry about that, eh? You know, really apologize. Our guy, Adrian A, is not too good on the old gunslinging. Hopefully, you can still have kids, eh? Luckily, they've got See? IVF these days. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah. Just get a donor. But hey, you know what? You've got the golden jandal. And um, we'll see you back here next time, mate, for another record. I know we probably can't dance, but maybe we can. Um, do some mild auto actions. And plus for plus. Hey.
hope you guys are enjoying the show. We have a lot more freshness for you today. Yay! <laughs> I wanted to do something more than just makeup, you know, I wanted to do some art. Something really different, something outside of the box. Tropic! Tropic! When the pimp's in the streets, yo. Drop it like it's hard. Drop it like it's hard. When the solar gives me attitude. Drop it like it's hard. Drop it like it's hard. Drop, hmm? drop you in a minute. I'll drop. Can we finish the song or? Drop it! Let's join our local sister, Isadora Blake, and see why she's fresh out the box. We mark her. Hi Freshies, come and see why I'm fresh out the box. Hello everyone, I'm Isadora Blake, I'm Fijian and I'm a body artist. So I got into body art, um, yeah it was mostly because I wanted a career change and that was like back in 2010. A lot of my work is done on myself um, and mostly it's uh, for my Instagram posts. The inspiration was it's under the sea and um, Probably inspired by Fiji, where, where I come from. Um, we have beautiful waters there and under the sea. And... So I graduated in 2010 and I worked in film and television for a while. It was all basic makeup, just like mostly beauty makeup. Um, I wanted to do something more than just makeup, you know, I wanted to do some art, create some art and something really different, something outside of the box, something fresh. And yeah, so that's when I found um, on Instagram some body artists that were doing um, looks and I thought wow that's that's amazing like that's something I would definitely want you know that's something that I would be proud to do and yeah I mean like you know going back to my heritage and my culture and stuff we were very much into body art so I guess the passion was always there I just needed to sort of find it and yeah start from there. I hope that this would encourage, you know, Fijians to, you know, take this path and, you know, think outside the box and, you know, a lot of them are creative and art is natural, like it's a natural thing in the Pacific Islands and I'd love that, you know, to, to inspire them by this. So hopefully, um, yeah, we'll see some uh, new Fijian body artists in the coming years. trouble when mom is calling you, especially these mamas. Lovely dress, which you get up about? I know, I love it as well. Isn't it amazing? Darling, this yeah. is like, it's a one-off. Custom-made designer. Yeah, Beyonce wore it at the, um, at the Oscars. There's only one of this in the whole world. Do you hear that, ladies? The sewing machine that made it, they had to get rid of that, burn wow. it. And on that note, should I go and get some more wine? Yeah, sure, go ahead. I'll go get us some more drinks, hey? Excuse me. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Why? Oh, that would be like. <laughs> oh, my oh, my gosh. Gosh. oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Uh, why is she in gold? Who invited her? She should be wearing bronze. Kalpa. Was she following me on GPS? Not the old knockoff. Oh, oh my gosh! gosh. I oh love my what gosh. you're wearing. Oh my I gosh. love what you're wearing. What, what is, is that? that? Like, what? seriously, what? Honestly, I love what the whole design, the gather, the everything going on. I just love the way oh you look. Oh my you, gosh. You're looking I amazing. I thought you were trying to But if it was my gosh. I love that. Look how well it's in the back. Is that a tail? Well, you know, I thought it was casual smart, and I thought it was black tie. You're not wearing your tie. My gosh, I thought that was a duvet cover. Never mind. Never mind. Oh my gosh. You look amazing. Turn around. Turn around. Oh, gosh. And keep... Uh, you look yeah, amazing. Oh, wow. 24 and a half carat. Wow. Um, Four dollars. Yeah, awesome. Oh, beautiful. I love I the way I, you... I, I love didn't the cover. You didn't oh, want to do a cover. I, no. What's gosh. the value of the gold? Uh, the value of it? Uh, 300 mil. Like millimetres? No, kilometres. Wow. Real is it real gold, gold? Real gold. Oh, my gosh. It's so much gold. I mean, you get hot on it. Oh, yeah? Well, when you get hot on it, I'll tell you. Real gold. Is it real gold? Real gold. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Are you sure? Don't touch me. Carrot. Cabbage. Oh my gosh. That doesn't feel like gold. Oh, my gosh. I'll rip you. <laughs> <laughs> rip me again. Go on. Oh, 
no, no, no. I you won't, know what? I you should. You know what? I think because no one saw you, no one even looked at you when I came in. So why don't you just go home, get uh, dressed, and save it for a special occasion? Gosh, you I was know, just like going to say or something. I was just going to say the same thing. Like you've got your unveiling next week. I know. Um, oh, you should go and get changed. No, you should go get changed. You should so go and get changed. You no, know, but, you know, only friends would help, but other friends, you should definitely go and get changed. Oh, look, I'm telling you now, they've got a bathroom right there. You know and what? They just get, get changed here, no one's looking at you. I bring spare clothes for my mates. Excellent, I can club. tell. What, um, what do you get there? Put on your spare clothes. The, you know the bouncer? He's your mate, you know, that's how I got in. Look, it's easier if you go home and get changed. You live closer. Plus, you could wear your politesse that you had on, you know, your, your lover lover. Or well, where's um, your pew pew? Where's your poor earrings? Um, the and you'll be good, because they make poise with plastic bags, don't they? You look great in a plastic bag. I've seen the black sacks. Um, they look amazing on you. Yeah, come on. Come on, darling. I'm running, out of, I'm running out of data. I'm waiting for you. Come on, what, what's happening? You saw me. It's OK. On arrival. Who's got the best dress? You already know it. Really tough. It's not that tough. Come on. That's the best dress. Oh, oh. No, all good. I'm going to go and change. No, I'm going home. No, no, I'm going to go change. I thought about it. I, I already thought about it. Look here, I lied. It wasn't 27 carat. I know. It was two. No, 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 no you stay here. You, go. you guys look the same. Friends, thank you for joining my island sisters and I here in Fiji. We are the women from Miss Pacific Islands pageant. Nita Mare Mana! We are the Koi Boys and we are bringing you the freshest vibes right here while we're back in Aotearoa. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand on air.